Hi everyone, uh, this is for choir leaders, choral leaders, uh, to help them with Zoom. One of the first things that I do when I enter Zoom is I click this participants button at the bottom, opens my screen like this. I see everyone that's in the Zoom meeting currently, Amy, Elizabeth, and Sarah. And if anyone else is added to the Zoom meeting, I'll get a little knock uh, and it will let me know, a little doorbell goes off, and it will let me know that they're waiting in my waiting room. This is important, see, there you go because in a moment I can click admit. Now if you didn't know who it was and you didn't want to admit them, you can click remove. So if, it, if you're worried about somebody coming in that may not be part of that meeting, you can remove them then. But I want to admit, and then you'll see it says joining, and then that person will join us on our screen in just a moment, and they'll get loaded on. And it's Liz. Hi Liz. Perfect. Now, everyone's muted for the time being, and uh, I will show you in a, in a moment how to, to use that function. Um, but before we do that, up here you'll see something that says speaker view. As I scroll my mouse up, it pops up. If I click that, it will pick somebody. Right now it's picking Liz, but it will pick someone who's speaking um, and kind of shine, make them the, the biggest video and, and make them shine for a moment. Uh, my preference, though, is to go to gallery view and see those little squares. If I click on it, then I see equal squares of everybody. Now, there's only five of us in this meeting. If you had a chorus or choir of many more people, um, uh, you might get up to, to 25 people on a screen, sometimes even up to 49 people on a screen. Um, but uh, if you have more than that, there'll be a little arrow that comes up right here. You click on that and it will go to the next page. So you can cycle through and see your singers, which is wonderful. And it's a great way to continue to build community online. Uh, so one of the first things we're gonna learn about is the mute function, very, very important. So right now I'm gonna unmute all. And, oh, there we go. I can unmute from here as well. And, uh, okay. Let's do this. There we go. And uh, I've left Liz's on mute because we're in the same place. And you can see if you had somebody else in the same space as you were close by, you might get feedback and you probably heard some of that feedback. So if you're in the same household, you probably want to be as far away from each other as possible if you're on different devices. Now, uh, they're all unmuted right now, so hi. Hi. And of course, uh, Elizabeth and Amy and Sarah can all speak. Liz can speak too, but because she's on mute, we can't hear her. Um, and uh, what I can do is down here, you can see I have this button that says mute all. And every choral leader would love to have this button in rehearsal. Well, finally you do. I can click the mute all button. And before I continue, I can allow participants to unmute themselves if I click this or if I leave it blank, I have to physically unmute them. And uh, maybe it's because I'm a choir leader and therefore I, I like control, but I prefer this uh, because if people start unmuting themselves throughout the meeting, it's harder. So I continue like this and now everyone's muted. So uh, say something. Something, I, I can read the lips, that's fantastic. And now we can't hear them, but they can hear me. If I click my mute function, they now can't hear me either, uh, even though I'm speaking. So I'm gonna unmute myself, and now they can hear me. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything here. I think the mute and the stop video or start video are pretty obvious, but beside the mute button, something important, this little carrot or chevron pointing up. If I click on that, there's a whole bunch of things, but if I go to audio settings, this will bring up a little page and I can test my speaker so I can hear that little kind of sound, that means it's working, so I'll stop. And I can test my microphone. Really important to be able to do these things. Now, um, beside here, there's this little button that says automatically adjust microphone volume, and that would increase and decrease the gain of your microphone and the volume of your microphone. I do not like this, so I leave it blank, and therefore my microphone is more even all the time. Uh, then I can either go down to some other things like share screen, virtual background, or I can just click this red button. Beside the stop video, the same thing, I can click on it, 
and I can go to video settings and there's a whole bunch of things that you can do under video settings uh, most of them are not important uh, one of them I find important is touch up my appearance you can see it's clicked you you would be really scared to see what I look like without that button clicked all right so uh, it just kind of creates some nice shading and stuff like that but none of these are really important so I'm gonna uh, click off that unless you want a virtual background so that you can so I can sing on the moon right you can create different virtual backgrounds if you want and you can load up your own as well which is sometimes funny um, so down here uh, in this bottom screen if it disappears like you might see in a moment just have to wait disappears if you scroll down with your mouse it appears again security I can lock the meeting that means that once I have all the participants I want I lock it no one can even ask to come in this is a great way to stop zoom bombing however if you have some people that are late to rehearsal now they're out of luck they can't come in so I love le just leaving that and just enable the waiting room and I can click on that I'm gonna skip uh, participants we've talked about I'm gonna skip share screen we're gonna come back there in a moment over here is reactions these are fun if everyone's on mute obviously they can't speak so after you sing a song together and you want to celebrate well you can all clap can you all do one of those clap things yeah there you go or you can do a thumbs up if you agree with some something somebody said these are wonderful ways now with our chorus one of the things we do if, if we're celebrating something or reacting to something we actually physically do it just by doing this yeah they're gonna join in look at that and that's our way for celebrating and to applaud uh, which is which is really nice um, there's also this more these three dots if I click on it there could be other things like um, making it live on Facebook or YouTube um, polling so this is if you want to do a survey within zoom uh, record so you can record to the computer or to the cloud or support and my suggestion is, is if you're just starting off you don't need any of those they're not really going to help you that much and, and most of those you have to enable in settings in another place so don't worry about that let's go to share screen though because this is going to be really important but before we do something uh, that uh, we we often want to do is sing and how do we sing in our rehearsals if uh, if all of us are muted right well if I unmute everybody and I'm gonna mute Liz again only because we'll get that feedback can I get everyone to clap with me so try and clap at the same time so I'm gonna go one two three four one two three four one two three four so unfortunately as you can see it's not happening we cannot clap together and I'm with some really great musicians it's not gonna happen because of lag on the internet we cannot get everyone uh, to do anything at the exact same time so obviously if we can't clap together we're not going to be able to sing together right so how do we do that well I mute everyone so I mute all and then uh, sometimes I've used a different uh, a device so in this case I'm using my phone and our chorus has uh, recordings of uh, learning tracks on our website so I can pick one of those recordings and I can play it close to my microphone and they will hear it on their end and they will sing along with it right so here I'm gonna pick a little bit of something inside so strong put it close to my microphone And I'll stop there. So I just played a snippet. They can hear it, and they're singing along with in their home, but of course I can't hear them. So I can't provide any feedback to them, uh, but what I can do is remind them of things that we might be working on in the song. I can remind them of some vocal things. I might be able to provide feedback if I notice that they're doing something physical or adding a lot of tension or things like that. I can help them that way, but obviously I can't hear them. But I can see them, and that's important. Uh, it's important because 
uh, we still can build our community of singers and we still have this feeling of we're doing something at the same time just in our own space. And they still get the sense of singing with uh, uh, four parts because I'm playing all four parts. Now, you, you, if you were in a choir, you could also play, have a, a keyboard or piano set up. You could play along with that. You could sing. I could have them sing along with me. So these are all different ways. Or, or if you have a recording, an MP3 on your phone, you can also do that. Now, the best way I've found for us um, is if I go down to the share screen. Now, first of all, when you enter a meeting, if you click the Chevron, I click only host can share. And the reason why is if other people can start sharing their screen, it will get really cluttered and difficult. And some people do it inadvertently, um, and it's not great. So I just want to be the only person to share my screen. So I'll click share screen. And as if my uh, one thing I can do is share whiteboard, you can see. So I'll share that. And this function, you can see, comes up with this beautiful whiteboard here. And I'm going to clear it, clear all drawings. So I, I can draw. As you can see, I'm very good at Pictionary. Do you know what that is? It's messy hair. Yeah, so I'm gonna clear that, uh, but I can also add text. Hello, is it me you are looking for? Right, you know, we can have some fun with this and, and you can uh, do lots of different things, stamps, uh, spotlights, erasers, you know, you name it, just like a drawing thing. So I'm going to, up here you can see stop share, I'm going to click that, and that's if you want to use a whiteboard for any function, but I'm going to share screen again, and I, it says Google Chrome, so I'm going to click on that, and that's my web browser, and it looks a little messy right now, but if I go to our chorus, Acapella Showcase, I can pick the same song, something inside the song, and I can play it. And um, I'm going to stop share because there's a button that I want to show you. If you do click that, make sure at the bottom here you click share computer sound and optimize screen share for a video clip. Really important to share computer sound especially. So now when I play it, oh, something inside so strong. Oh, oh. So they can hear the music even clearer, and I could even click on the sheet music. And once it loads, I could actually go into some specific spots and show them where we are in the song. So I'm going to go back and turn that off. There we go. And uh, so that's a wonderful way to share uh, music with your chorus or choir, especially if it's online. Another little thing that you can do um, that I find really helpful, I'm gonna share screen oh, one more time. Make sure your browser is open when you do this. If it's not open, it won't allow you to share. How about that? So if I click on that, share, and now I go over to this, I can actually share a YouTube video of a choir course. It could be you, it could be someone else. This is beautiful. And if you wanted to teach your chorus or choir something specific or something different or watching a YouTube video and talking about it, this is a wonderful way to do it. So these are all great functions with Zoom. They're very helpful um, and it will at least help continue to build that community that you have, especially in these times right now. It's a simple, simple tool um, and uh, very user friendly. Uh, you can't really do any damage, uh, but the big things are make sure at the beginning only host with the share screen, get those participant things up, get make a gallery view versus speaker view, and then the other things are kind of gravy, um, but muting all to play your music on your end or sharing a screen is a wonderful way for, your, for everyone to sing. And then when it's all done, what we like to do is unmute all. Although I'm going to continue to mute Liz, sorry Liz, but she's uh, in the other room and it just creates a lot of reverb. 
But I'm going to unmute all, and now we can just chat, have a party, grab your favorite drink, and have a little bit of an afterglow after uh, your choir or chorus is finished. So uh, thank you all so much. I, I really appreciate you for helping me today. And uh, the last thing I do at the end of the night, I click end meeting. And the moment I click that, then everyone is out of Zoom. Uh, one last thing, if you want, you can see that I have my name and everyone has their name in the corner. Sometimes different names appear. If you click on them, notice in the top right, there's those three buttons. Well, I can mute their audio. I can spotlight them. I can make them a host, so I can change the host duties from me to them or a co-host, so they have op opportunities to help. And that could be great if you have uh, co-directors or different leaders in the group. I can remove them. So if uh, they maybe they shouldn't have been in this meeting, I can remove them or I can re rename them. So Elizabeth, I'm going to now put Elizabeth W. You know, and and Elizabeth can also rename herself, but as a host. I can rename people. Uh, I can also put people back in the waiting room if I wasn't ready for them to be part of our meeting, or as I said, I can remove or spotlight. So if I pick Liz here, I'm gonna spotlight Liz, and if I spotlight her video, everyone sees her in big screen. Hey, Liz. And Hi, I can, Liz. I can, Hi, Liz. I can cancel the spotlight, I'll cancel the video, and then I can go back to gallery view if I click that. And that could be really helpful too if you want someone else to run a part of the meeting. You can unmute them specifically and have them do some warming up. Maybe you have them do some physical warm-ups or maybe they have some announcements. This is a great way to highlight different people. Sometimes even when we sing I like to highlight people that are really engaged and involved. Anyway, thanks so much. Uh, I hope that this Zoom uh, tutorial helps you as a choir leader and more than anything we just want to get more people singing and, and continue this community of singers building so stay healthy and stay strong and of course sing strong too take care bye